Hello guys, in this lesson we will start to do a three-story building with some small details and some side. So let's start. Let's create new project, architectural temp. And first what we're gonna do, we will go to the east view and we will arrange our levels. Level 1 is correct, but uh, for level 2 I need only 3500 millimeters and let's copy the this level so click on that and copy it and let's copy 3.5 and again need copy this one so it will be already uh, also 3.5 and let's rename roof now we will copy again for 700 and let's call that top of roof click on here and let's arrange Okay, and now last thing what we're gonna copy this level to the down 1100, rename it to the grade, and one more 1300, and rename to the basement. Okay, great. Now everything we should do lock. It's already locked. If not, just uh, click on the, uh, this lock. As you see here, we have the this icon blue, but this one icon black. Why? Uh, because uh, on our uh, project browser, we have the floor plans only for first level and second level. As you see, first and second level is blue. So that means these two levels has uh, floor plans. So we should go back to the floor plans and create uh, fl uh, plans for all of this view. For getting it look like this one. So first thing what we gonna do, we will go to the ribbon menu to view point. And after that we will select plan views and floor plan. As you see here, we have the non-activated viewports. Uh, be sure uh, you you have the check bar here. Do not duplicate existing views, because uh, we if you want uh, has some two variants of one uh, one floor. It's okay, but uh, for now we don't need that. So hold the shift and click on the bottom and uh, select everything and click OK. And as you see, we get all our plans in the left side in Project Browser. Now we will shift to the basement plan here. And let's draw our basement. Let's go to the ribbon menu. Uh, let's check its architect, uh, architects and wall. Let's choose the wall structure. Just click on this button. After that, uh, let's choose... Um, Generic commensary, but 300 millimeters. This one. And uh, last thing, what we gonna do? Uh, choose the depth, because it's okay. This warning uh, mm, introduces us uh, when we will draw it. Uh, we can't see properly what we're drawing. So depth uh, unconnected, uh, 700 millimeters, and finish face exterior. So for my building it will be uh, 26,000 by uh, 5,060 and again 26,000 by 5,060 Let's see, let's go to the 3D view to check so we get our uh, basement 
if also you will go to some plans you will see clearly here our is our basement so let's put it here okay let's draw um, walls on at the great uh, great level so let's go to the grade actually it's my wrong we will go to the basement floor and what we're gonna do now uh, now we need um, on click just on the basement floor plan let's go to the extents view rh and let's make the above unlimited because i want to see boundary of my walls uh, after that we are going again to the ribbon menu wall uh, wall structure and choose again uh, basic wall generic 200 millimeter mansory and after that uh, we need to change depth to high we will get the warning it's okay and after that uh, to the uh, grade level so we need uh, top of our uh, wall will be at the grade level uh, be sure we, ch we choose the uh, finish face exterior and let's choose the draw type rectangular so now from this corner to the this we will get some warning and escape a couple of time let's go to view yes we get our um, our wall but we get some problem here it's okay anyway done done and here too oh yeah i know what i did wrong but it anyway no time for change now done go back to the basement and let's choose the graphic and let's back to the uh extends here let's let's back to level basement okay so uh let's make two views one here and i need also 3d view here okay perfect but again we can see properly here our building so yes oh yes that's why we cannot see extends okay and now we need use the wall but now architecture wall and let's choose the brick uh, where is the brick? Brick means da, da, da. okay. We will use this one. Let's show we're using the height level to roof and we'll finish face exterior and again rectangular from this corner to this. Oh, I forget to draw one level or I deleted that it's okay I'll go back to basement So what we're gonna do now? Go to the basement floor, uh, go to the uh, under ribbon menu architect and floor, uh, floor structure, uh, floor generic this one, and let's draw by pick the walls. So pick the walls. Be sure it's inside. And click OK. Would you like the walls to the bottom? 
let's click yes detach targets okay let's check on the 3d view just click on this wall and by control second one and let's hide it hide view element done here our floor here so and let's go now to the level one let's close this one uh, view tile and let's create one more floor but now we will use the this finish wood uh, wood finish this one again by clicking click the wall ctrl z this one inside let's create yes here we are uh, about the height how how you can um, unhide your walls back so actually uh, you need to click on this icon and as you see the red one it means uh, it's height object so just click on the red object and you can unhide view element here click again to the this icon done your wall is here but actually for now we need hide them let's continue with other walls so i mean with our floors so let's go to the level two level two um view tile and now let's draw again the floor click just like this okay yes that yes we want connect escape and last level level three four architecture same and click ok yes what we're gonna do now now we want to put some uh, windows so but before we will uh, back our wall because we want to see what's going on on height element back so let's back to the level one and now uh, no, we don't need that, we need only like this uh, window. But as you see in our temple, it's uh, only the one type of the window. We need to load other one. I will uh, leave the link where you can download the type windows, my type windows, I mean. Uh, but now I will show you how you can load it inside the project. So uh, just click on the window. Here we have the load family. Load family. Uh, I saved on here. And let's choose uh, all windows what I have here. And just open it. Yes, it's 13 and he transferred to 17. So as you see now we get other type of windows. But it in inch. Because uh, most of uh, models or families, uh, what you will find in internet or some other sites, uh, they will be in inch. So this actually doesn't matter because you can transfer to millimeters if you're using millimeters. So let's choose the our window, window, and I'm interesting this one. Typical first level. And let's put some. Now it's no matter how many you want and the uh, distance between, because we will arrange it. So uh, now uh, I'm going to align dimension, not wall center, wall face, from this one to the center window. <coughs> like this and let's do it equal so now we have the all equal 
windows and let's put it slightly left side oh uh, cancel so sorry un un <laughs> uncheck the echo and now we can move here and one one millimeter more yes like this we can delete that uh, let's go to the north side and let's copy our windows to other levels just select all windows uh, go to the copy paste on the bottom side and align select levels choose other levels second one and third one and press ok uh, let's choose uh, these two levels and we want to change uh, to this one make it slightly smaller now we will back to the first level and let's put other windows one here one here let's go to the second floor window No, it's too small. Let's make this one. Oh, so small. 60 inch. Oh, 27. No way. One here. One here. And one here. Let's make this equal. equal and constrain and let's do same here just we'll choose all our windows and we will mirror it like this now we will go to 3d view no, not 3D, sorry. We will go to the East view. Like this. And we will copy these three, three windows. Like previous one. To the level 3. Done. And now East to West. Same. Copy, paste, align, level 3. Done. Let's go to 3D view and let's check it. Here is our window and you will get the same. So now we will start to do something for this side. 